Hey guys, this is K-Pop Studio and I'm Kevin. When I think about it, I haven't seen Yanu of Momoland for a few months now. If you remember the KCON from last week, the other members of Momoland were at LA except for Yanu. The company did not say anything regarding Yanu's absence for quite a while, and last June, there were rumors that she had secretly quit the group. But as it turned out, according to the news on the 19th, Yanu took a break from her career to recover from panic disorder. She's getting better and is currently preparing for a new TV series. As we know, Mina is also going through something similar with Yonu. I just hope they all get a good rest and recover well. Oh My Girl just made a new record. They made first place at Inkigayo which was aired last Sunday and this was their first time to make it to first place at a major music program at a major broadcasting company. And it took them 1580 days. Before, it took Girls Day 1094 days and EXID 1058 days to make it to the top. So now, Oh My Girl is the group with the longest days to the top record. It may seem odd, but they still made it to the top and it is good news for both the group and the fans. Congratulations! After the fans analyzed the voting results of Produce X 101 that ended just a few weeks ago, suspicions arose that the producers of the TV show may have manipulated the voting results. This led the police to investigate on the matter. It is said that recordings about rigging the voting results have been found on some of the related people's phones. What's even worse was that the recording mentioned about the fabrication of results from the previous season as well. The police said, that the producers have rigged the results and announced the participants' rankings differently. X1, the group which was made by the winning participants of the season, is just about to debut and I'm not sure if this is going to be good news for them. That was it for today. Bye.